TU Delft has been a participant in the Reinvent the Toilet Challenge since 2011. Our proposal is a self-sustaining sanitation system for informal settlements in urban areas based on microwave-assisted plasma gasification. This is a collaboration between two faculties, Process and Energy and Industrial Design Engineering. The exciting thing about this is that we combine advanced technology and user-centered design. At Industrial Design Engineering, we're applying a human-centered design approach and we're combining the needs of the user with the requirements of the technology. We are proposing a community sanitation center, a shared toilet within one neighborhood, provides uh, toilets to 300 people. Moreover, it hosts a shop where people can buy personal hygiene products, a place where women can wash their menstrual pads and a grey water system. The facility is designed asymmetrical. For the men, it's designed for a quick toilet visit, whereas for the women, it provides a more relaxed and safe toilet experience. The facility is based on a membership system. Families from the neighborhood pay a monthly fee and can then, for less than $5 cents a day, use the toilet facilities and benefit from other services, such as a health insurance. The shop will be franchised by a bigger company and uh, membership fees will be sufficient to keep the system rolling. We believe brand-driven innovation is important to engage people with our concept and to uh, reach this ownership we're looking for and that is often lacking in current toilet solutions. So our brand called Apna Sanir is conveying technology, professionalism and empowerment. The toilet itself diverts two streams. To one side, it directs urine, feces and flushing water. And to the other side, it directs cleaning water and anal cleansing water. We do this so the feces can be transported to the processing plant where they will be treated. And the water we can recycle on site and reuse it then again to flush or to clean. When the user pulls the lever to start the anal cleansing ritual, the diverting mechanism changes position and the water is guided towards the grey water treatment. The water ends up in a settler, goes through a slow sand filtration and is then pumped up to the roof for UV disinfection. A UNESCO Institute for Water Education is at the moment uh, conducting tests to see the effect of titanium dioxide that could enhance the pathogen destruction in the UV disinfection system. At the community center, the waste is picked up by a small vehicle. The vehicle brings the waste towards the border of the slum and there it's picked up by a bigger truck that collects the waste of all the community sanitation center and then it's brought to the central processing plant. I am here in the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering and uh, I'm a power plant engineer, especially looking at uh, partially replacing combustion with electrochemical fuel oxidation. We are developing a gasifier-based uh, toilet system and the human waste is gasified using a microwave-assisted plasma gasifier. This is our microwave generator. It generates the power of about six typical domestic microwave ovens. The microwave field is transmitted to plasma generator where plasma is generated. In this plasma we feed biomass that is converted into syngas which is then transported to the gas cleaning unit. And, and we need electric power for operating the microwave. The gas generated uh, in the gasifier is used in a solid oxide fuel cell for high efficiency electric power production. We had to redesign the complete system for operating the fuel cells with syngas uh, as a fuel. The, the syngas uh, is coming out of the gasifier with a lot of uh, contaminants and the gas cleaning unit will take out almost all these uh, contaminants uh, to, to the levels acceptable for the solid oxide fuel cell. Uh, we have a section where we use the heat of the fuel cell that is still there available in our system to dry this human fecal matter and with some of the electricity generated we drive the infrared section on this dryer to make the fuel dry enough for the gasifier to be acceptable. The urban designers are, are looking for newer solutions and one possible approach is to, to, to treat the human waste locally. You need newer technologies and thermal systems, especially the technologies used with 
with power plants. This is a self-sustaining system. It can produce sufficient electricity and heat for running the plant. And it can even produce, hopefully in future, uh, extra uh, electric power and heat uh, for, for other local needs. Uh, TDELF is known for uh, civil engineering, urban planning, industrial design and process engineering. Here we have an opportunity to, to, to combine uh, the capabilities of all these departments to come up with newer systems for futuristic cities. Hence, uh, this is the right place for such activities and it's an opportunity for us.